Yeah. Yeah. So if we were in white tendency, we could come through here. Problem is, we need a key from the next level. Um, that was very much to my displeasure on the strength magic run I'm doing right now, because there are some cool s shit in these cells. There is a set called the Rogue Set, and there is the Tri-Cornered, the, wait no, sorry, the Free Cornered Hat, which is the, um, which completes the Ragged Set. But yeah, we gotta get a key. I promise that one guy I've got to record the audio of you. So we'll do that soon. Oh, shit's locked. Yeah, we need the same key. Anyway, whoop. Well, you are a sane one, aren't you? My name is Ridiel. Please liberate me from this cell. I have precious little time. I must retrieve an article from my corpse. Yeah, so his name's a little misspelled in a few places. As you can see, the only thing that remains of me is my soul. My body is trapped in another cell. I fancy it a fine, rotten mess by now. I've no interest in my corporeal flesh, but I left upon my person a keepsake of my late wife. I will soon fade into the beyond. My only wish is to do so near that token of my beloved. A retainer to the king once held the key to this cell. That ebony swine with his gluttonous swaying belly. So he's talking about the fat menaces, but they're not in this world. So yeah. As you can see, my body yeah, I've like I... So he's got a cool weapon. It's uh so so. Most magic infused uh, weapons allow damage it, but it's still pretty cool. The Phosphorescent Pole. It regens mana, which is pretty cool. If he's all locked, what am I doing? Um, like the Crescent Infusion. But it does it slower, and yeah, it's just not as good, sadly. But still, it's pretty unique. Anyway, here we go. This is... this... Uh, th th fuck's sake. This is the part I might die at. Sup? Too soon, but I kind of knew that. So let's see how much they do. Not much. Guess how much he does with his laser. Now you'll notice it's made of prisoners. Uh oh, fuck. That's as bad as it looks. We're just gonna flick some chip. Going for our fireballs, some parryable fireballs. Yep, I want, I want. Thank Christ! Whoa, that guy has killed me way too many times. It's rather annoying. Well, yeah. I know you're talking about the item in the uh, chair, but yeah. I mean, could be talking about death ball, but whatever. Doesn't really matter. Hey, lizard over there, Nate. This is the end. This, yeah, this is where I did the ending of that video. Ah, fond memories. Fond memories of scenic Latria. Truly a holiday destination for all the family. I take my kids here. That I don't have. Nah, that'd be, uh, that'd be fucking awful. Yes, what have you got to say? Uh, you wasted my time. There's no reason to open most of these cells, but I just kind of do because, I don't know. Is it being obsessive compulsive? Potentially? I don't fucking know. Frankly, I don't want to know. Help me. It's a Flutonite set we can do without. And yes, Fridiel we will help with it. The silver bracelets. Oh, look at that. They're holding hands. <laughs> So, silver bracelets. 
Something we can't wear, which fucking sucks. Silver crafted bracelets, elegant orna ornaments, most likely used to decorate an equally elegant outfit. Certainly worn by daughter. Yes, a daughter of nobility. Possibly due to their high value, the wearer will obtain more souls after killing shit. So yeah, they're pretty handy. Again, kind of annoying guys can't wear them, but what are you going to do? So yeah, for tonight, I don't think I ever read it, so there you go. Um, whoops, sorry, whoops, wrong way. Let's have a quick look. Iron armor, finally cut crews, used by the knights of the relatively advanced region of Southern Boletaria. Uh, designed to enhance the protective effect, heaviness, fo yeah, it just kind of fucks your uh, salmon region. Yeah. So right now you'll notice, boy, our item burden went w way up. Uh, good thing we're not really going to need to worry about item burden much more. There's not a lot of heavy shit left in the level. It will, however, mean I'm probably going to back out right before the boss. So that's a thing. Yeah. Sorry. But, yeah. Again, I'm being obsessive-compulsive, I suppose. I don't know. It's the same thing where it's like... I know most people probably do this, but when... Like, even on the 100th playthrough, it's... You know, it's pretty obsessive. It's that thing of, I've got to pick up every item... Um, along the way, even though it's got no bearing on my build. Doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. I envy people that can run past shit, but I can't. Anyway. Speaking of running past shit, that's what we have to do, because you got to corral this little fuck. you got to get past him and... Oh, shit. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Ah, trap yourself. Now, you might be wondering the urgency. Now, I don't need to walk much further. It's pretty dark in the Elgato, but I think you can pass what happens. Uh-huh. Huh, he... D Whoa. You know, this is a fine message. Just putting it out there. Fuck you, you little shit. I've never fallen off because of it, but I've come close. It's a game of chicken. With a lizard. I don't, I don't know what the link is there. Evolutionary, I suppose. Just uh, not factoring in humans. Anyway. Enough of that shit. I think we we can walk up here, but we can't really do much from memory. We've got we've got to do the other side of that room, which we will in a second. Yep. Now this is locked from memory, right? It appears to be locked. Well, that fucking sucks. Hmm. Ah well. Hmm. Oh, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this, but yeah. Wait, what the fuck? You fell through the floor. That's interesting. We shall be. Thank you, kind sir. Yeah, I was going to mention, it kind of goes without saying, but there is a lot of stuff in this game that, well, I guess recycled is the right word, but they kept around for Dark Souls and Bloodborne. There is a Sigwood, a Sigmire, in this game. Uh, we just won't see him for a bit. Now, how cruel would it... Ooh, that was a little too close to cover. How cruel would it be if there was an item in there? That, that feels like a Dark Souls 2 kind of thing to do. Looking at the time, this is definitely the second part of this session. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Because this has gone for 50, apparently. Should be relatively close. Probably 48, given the sync test. Let's have a look at that before we venture any further. Oh wait, we did. Huh, <laughs> stupid me. What am I saying? Where he did. Of course, of course. That's just the standard air stock. So we don't need to look at that, because we already got one, so we can dual wield. That is the Mercury Rapier, but as you can see, we can't get to it. This fence is in the way. One thing I'm going to look at. Where is it? Also, okay, 93.7, we're getting there. 
the hell was that? Is that a parry? I assume that is a parry. If so, rat. What am I saying? It's definitely a fucking parry. I don't think we ever looked at the kite. Yeah, same thing, basically. Yellow dragon signifies soldiers of low rank. Eat a shield. Since it is easy to handle, it is used. Its use is widespread, especially amongst the soldiers of the church. So, priest and temple knights start with this. If you if you're wondering where I got a Baldwin sells it for two thousand. Uh, there is one we can get that is somewhat upgraded down the dark path, which is pretty cool. It's not what you'd think if you're familiar with souls. It's, um, yeah. You can't do damage stats on shields in this game. Which is fine. Don't think you can... Yeah, I don't think any of the shields are really good for that shit. But yeah, kind of annoying, but I wanted to get it because it's lightweight. Anyway. This shit's fucking cool. And no, if there anyone who knows this, I'm not fucking badass enough. I'm not even gonna try. I'll explain that sentence in a second. But first of all, we'll walk up to this. Hmm. We'll wait here. Yeah, it attacks the frame rate. Oh shit. Okay, good, we can't be hit there. I've always wondered. So, it's shooting arrows. So as you can see, there's a bit of timing to it. So yeah, you can totally roll roll through it. I'm not. Holy fuck, I'm not. I'm shit at it. I don't think I've ever tried, but I probably could actually, but no. I'm not testing it. I'm not testing my luck now. We're so close to getting around the back of that, in fact. So, doing that will circumvent one little part of this level. Also, yeah, as you see, the climbing mechanic, eh? It's pretty good in this place. You just gotta be very careful with the drops. But, anywhere along this you can climb up. Unlike, well, where we jumped over for Ostrava or Boletaria. You know, that guy. The Song of, Kil of King Alant. Oh, what's this? Danger, watch yourself. We will like it indeed. Oh, it's my friend. Here we go. It's spinning up. It's wearing a life. So once we, what yet? Yeah, once we're on solid ground, I'll uh, I'll look at that. I, I'm not gonna fall off, obviously, but. You know, might as well do, do it while we can walk and talk. Mercury Rapier. So it'll just be the Rapier description, of course. Uh, narrow attack range, but deal heavy damage. Work well against metal armor, hard scales. Same thing. It's, wait. It's fucking identical, holy shit. So it's, right now it's stronger. Because of better base damage. Uh, the Mercury infusion lowers the scaling and adds poison, as I mentioned. I didn't mention the first part, hence why I'm mentioning it now. So you'll see, it does 120 poison. Now while I'm thinking of it, let's do the thing. That's a parry, alright. So I've played around with the Mercury Infusion a bit, but kind of like Bloodborne, it feels like it's way more worthwhile to just, I don't know, kill things. Just uh, putting it out there, I know that might be a little contentious. But well, that's how bloody feels. Now I'm pretty sure we got the key. And if we didn't, I'm a fucking idiot. That's there. That's where Squiddy was. Now we have two other squids. So I'm hoping to get to the end of this area, do a thing, and then quickly take a break. And then we'll uh, continue from there. Because there's something I'm interested in trying out but I've never done in this level. No, it's not rolling through the fucking arrows. Holy shit, I'm not doing that. Speaking of which... You down there? Wait, no. Of course not, we can't. There's a, there's a fucking wall between us. How clever of me. So this is when having Cloak would have been great, even though the Thief's Ring is pretty solid in that regard. Now, what I'm thinking is I'm going to run, and then we're going to run in, try to get a backstab and a few hits. If need be, I'll finish it with fire from afar. 
But no need, because we can get the sick backstab. Now, the reason Pure Black is so fucked is because there are Black Phantom versions of these guys. There is one right here in the middle of that room. Um, also, outside Lord Ridiel's cell, there is um, Black Phantom Lord Ridiel. I would not recommend fighting him. Holy shit. Um, Morel is bad enough, and I might give that a shot at the end of the session, just so... Just so I can have a guillotine axe to play around with. Because it's a stronger but heavier version of the battle axe. And I like my axes. But yeah, Black Phantom Ridiel is pretty fucking tough. Not as tough as the guy at the start of Shrine of Storms, though. Holy shit. There is also one here. There's also a few along the way, but yeah. Also, yeah, a, uh, get, we can't go through. That sucks. So, a few things we can do here. First and foremost, let's just get this out of the way. We are going up. Up, 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 and away. Speaking of Black Phantoms, there is one ahead, so we'll have to take care of them in a moment. There's some cool shit to talk about with them. Or well, it's a her, I might as well just say that. There's an item there. And it's sick gargoyles. Cool. So, you might be able to make out. Just there, there's a break in the... Yeah, you can see that. There's a break in the fence. Which lets us drop there. Pretty handy. Wow, there's a lot of blood down there. What the hell happened? I mean... Oh, wait, no. It's just... Okay, yeah, yeah. It's just textured blood. Okay. It's not blood stains. I don't think there's enough people playing this to... To uh, justify that much blood. But holy shit. So this is the boss room, by the way. We're looking into it right now. Into the church. The Silver Catalyst. But where are the enemy spells? Hey, man. What's going on? That's a cool guy over there. He's pretty chill. He's one of the few chill guys in this whole area. So, Silver Catalyst, you'll notice. Spell assist, well, spell buff is a little lower. Physical attack's high, but you never... Wait, can you even? Sure, you can, right? It's kind of shit, though. So it's weaker. Main thing it does is increases the max MP. So same thing as the Cornet. Coronet, not Cornetto. Yeah, it's pretty handy. It's pretty handy to, like, have in your opposite, in your offhand, or you have this in your casting hand. Extra MP. Yeah, and you're probably not going to need to block a lot of the time if you spell casting, so that works out great. Oh yeah, I meant to check this out. What am I doing? Sorry, it's been fucking ages. It's like 20 minutes. Holy shit. You found this in the Iron Maiden. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm having a cough a lot today. Okay. Soft ring, bearing a light green seal. So as you'll see, yeah, pretty similar to this. Increases attack, ma magic attack power. Decreases defense against magic. As you can see, wow, we're going down a decent amount. 27 points. Um, yeah, same thing. Made by Jerry. Friend of Sage Freak. Known for magical handicrafts. All that shit. I mean, that's cool. I like the bellowing Dragon Chris ring in Dark Souls, so I ain't gonna judge. The Pyromancy is not for that nerd shit. I like utility spells. Again, if I was a badass, if I was Brad Total Badass Vickers, I'd roll through that shit, but no dice. Story told you so. Don't bother with willpower. Ah, tis a shame, is it not? Hmm. The clever cat's ring. That's one of the main things to get in the bridge. Renowned. Renowned. Stone of Ephemeral Eye. So, guy in the priest set. Guy in the priest set. Guy in the priest set. Gun the preset. Preset again. Let's have a look at Clever Cat. So I was about to talk about this ship. So there you go. A simple gold ring engraved with the seal of a small animal increases. Yeah, increases attack power when HP is low or below 30. Held by Lord Ridiel, known as Little Alant. 
There is also Vidal's Rat's Ring, which forms a matching pair with this set. So I think I might have just said the wrong thing and called this the Cat Ring, but no, this is the... Yeah, no. Cat Ring is full damage, what a surprise. That's a consistent thing in this game. So, I was about to talk about Hyper Mode. The thing that's in all these games where you get yourself down nice and low, you stack effects like that, and try to one-shot shit from afar or get up in its grill and hope you don't get hit. That shit will stack with magic in this game, so it's actually pretty cool. Now, I was talking about a Black Phantom. There is one right up ahead. There's a good chance they'll start firing at this. Let's just break this before. This is when the Grave Robbers ring come in handy because they're using that too. So, the idea is you will drop off there, grab the item, then fall and get hit by this Phantom's crossbow. So as you can see, yeah, female. She's wearing the female variant the assassin said. Let's try this. Oh, I should have brought the scimitar. You know what? Fuck this. So crossbows do hurt when they hit, but I just don't like them because of how it works. Now she is likely to have a fuck ton of poison resist. She is fair. We'll try this again. She's using a pretty cool weapon actually. I don't know if she can be poisoned. If she can, sick. It'll, this will make this a lot easier. I can't. Looking at all this damage. I'm hoping I don't get hit too many times, because she's using the baby's nail, which we will find in the boss room, in fact. And there's a bit of story... Actually, yeah, there's... It works out pretty cool as to where you get it. It's kind of useless, but that's kind of part of the thematic purpose, I suppose. Yeah, the vault she is using will fucking hurt. So yeah, we can see her thanks to the poison. So, baby's nail. I'll talk about it now, because we're not really going to have enough time to when I'm in the boss room grabbing it. It inflicts plague. The thing that's worse than toxic. Or at least the equivalent, I suppose. Well, I mean, it is the equivalent, but I think it's worse, in all honesty. But at least I'm pretty sure it does more damage. So, it's noted in the description, which I'll read anyway, um, for being an assassin's tool used by women and children. So... That video I was citing earlier was suggesting that the corpse we find in the boss room... There we go. Good shit. We'll read, we'll, we will read all that shit in a second. The, the video I keep citing was suggesting the corpse in the boss room is her. And then, you know, she got killed. She got killed by the boss. And then, like Phantom Her, is forced to guard it. I never thought about it that way, but yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, it's a chunk. Got it, of course. Alright, now where is it? So, ephemeral eyes, good shit. Black eye stone. You get this off the first black phantom you kill. That's, well, you know, an NPC. Not just an enemy. <coughs> Excuse me. An eye stone you stole from a black phantom. Proof of a corrupted human. When you die and enter soul form, use this item to invade another world. When you enter another world, you become a black phantom. If you can defeat the warrior in that world, you will resurrect with your body. So that's why you would invade. Okay, now. There's some shit up there, but I want to do this now. If I can. And the phrasing I'm going with in this episode is kind of weird. Okay, so. The boss up ahead I was talking about is immune to poison, bleed, and plague. Or at least... Poison and plague. I'm pretty sure it was immune to everything, but I'm not really testing. I know it's immune to immune to poison and plague, like I was saying. Anyway, now to anyone who knows this game, yep, yeah, I'm doing this. I've never seen it, so I'm interested to know. As to what people who don't know this game, eh, you might know, and if not, you'll know by the end of this. This could be potentially incredibly stupid, but I really want to know how this works out. So this is the Fool's Idol. Yeah, cutscene for her, which is pretty cool. So yeah, she's said to be in uh, the image of the Queen of Latria. She's pretty rad, I guess. Four arms, though. So these guys are in the boss room. They'll occasionally attack us, but not that often. If we kind of hang back, she's not going to really do much. 
So you very often just kind of sits there for a while. It's when you get close. Now, there's the baby's nail behind us, so we'll grab it. Because after the boss fight, it can be a bit of a pain. Now, will she hit us through this? Probably. Okay. Ready? See how much we do. Okay, this is manageable. Okay. This is probably manageable. You can sometimes hit her after that. So, anyone who's played Dark Souls 3, you'll recognize this. So, the ones that aren't her will shoot with the small little, um, little soul darts. The Farron darts, I suppose. Um, she made some seals on the ground. If we hit them, we will get paralyzed. So, the, uh, Mind Flayers were kind of the, uh, the tutorial of sorts. One we're looking for, when we lock on, will not have a health bar, and they'll fire the big bolts. So we have found her. So she kind of staggers, but not really. Kind of like Crystal Sage. Won't stagger when you uh, start hitting a bit. So after you attack the fake ones a few times, they're meant to disappear. Um, I don't know. Okay, there we go. When it's safe, I'll show off what happens when you get hit by them, but... Yep, found her. We're topping off because holy fuck, this fight can be a... Holy shit. Whoa. And this is with, like, decent magic resistance. It's not amazing, but decent. So let's see. Man, I should have brought a fucking bow. We can do this instead. Normally I don't, but the fact that I know I can just hit her a few times and she'll fuck off is pretty handy. Do I have a bow? Do I have arrows? This is when a crossbow would actually be quite handy. Oh, she's, uh... Huh, okay. That's, uh, that's kind of redundant then. Um, yeah, might as well. We'll go hard. We're going to top off. Because I don't want to do this twice. Oh, shit. So that guy, the prisoner just walked on it just then. As you could see. Alright, let's see. That's her. Let's get her. Alright. Now, I'm interested to see how this goes. Fools, for it is as you wished. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so this is about what I expected. So you'll notice we got the sound of killing the boss. But we got no souls and no message. So yeah, that's weird because... Oh, so yeah, we didn't go human. So the weird thing is, I've been trying to find it all morning on YouTube... Um, and it's probably one I missed. Here, yeah, basically. Um, yeah. I tried to find it. There's probably a clip up, but no one's really showing it. So now we can do a thief, and we can leave through the fog wall. Now, one thing is, when you kill the boss, um, due to a cutscene thing, there'll be a trigger. So, if you want to get the baby's nail, you have to walk basically straight forward, and then I think you can turn and grab it, and walk a little closer. But you got to be very careful and we'll dance around triggers. So we're going to leave. We'll grab the items and then we'll get the hell out. So this means, yeah, I've got to fight her again. That's fine. I can get a level, so... And I'll give me an opportunity for a break. So the main thing was, as you heard, she'll be revived. I don't know if we go straight through if she'll come back, but... I'd rather not. What do you have to say, friend? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay, you know what? If I say hi, I'm just going to ignore him now. You are actually quite useful, so you get a like. You actually get a like, kind of like that guy. Fuck that guy. Oh, yeah, I didn't actually... I'd say it didn't show off, but I didn't think of it. So over here, the statue... He's actually meant to be a statue of the queen. Kind of just... Will turn into this. Who knows if it was like that before the uh, little... Uh, demon takeover. With the old man. The old king. Who is not called King Alant. Yeah, there's a few kings in this game. 
I mean, in essence, you know, maybe we're the precursor to Dark Souls too. We just don't take the crowns. We just slay the kings. Anyway. The plan is, once I run down here, do what needs to be done, thouest. Oh yes, of course. I'll come back, grab that, and I'll, uh, and I'll fucking shout of Artstone the hell out. Alright, cool. So, if we're lucky, there's going to be a few messages here. Well, there's also a guy, as I showed. I don't know what the fuck that sound was I just made. It's the key as well. This is what will save Freak. So we'll get Freak on the way back. How you doing, dude? What? What do you want? I am a humble servant. I do not wish to interfere. I won't cause you trouble. I won't. What? I I won't. You know that's interesting. Um, cause I was just down. Oh, look, you can see her. In fact, she's right there. Hey, you know it's interesting. Um, you've got this weird glowing shit in front of you. There's messages. Oh, what's this? Huh. And there was someone talking up here, talking about how fools like myself will allow her to just be revived again and again. So yeah, I've never seen her revive, so I want to see how that went. And I'm happy I managed to beat her like that. So yeah, this guy just keeps reviving him. Or oh, her, what am I saying? So, uh, fuck that. No remorse. Now, look... Nowadays it's pretty obvious, but I can imagine back then you'd be you'd be a little more cautious, given you've met the Dregling Merchant, you've met characters like Ostrava. The main difference is you can lock onto him, unlike all of them. Anyway, Widow's Lotus, meant to cure in case you get hit by a baby's nail. Which ah fuck it, we'll look at it now. So as you can see, 120 plague. A dagger coated with plague. The blade is curved like a talon. Often used by women and children for assassination. Among the various unique weapons, this one is especially sinister. I've got one more time to mention about this in this episode, but I'll hold off until then. One thing to note. One of the cool, interesting things about boss weapons and... <coughs> excuse me. Certain unique weapons is... The Cola's Demon Souls, which we used to upgrade them with, don't necessarily increase damage on some of them. In the case of the baby's nail, I think it might get a little damage damage boost. But what it does is it increases the potency of the plague damage. So it'll uh, do more damage per second. I think it ups the, uh, well, you know, the plague on hit. Anyway, the plague build up on hit. Anyway, we're getting out of here. So I'll see you back in the level in a little bit. Okay, and we are back. So I'm just running back to there just to show you the run, I guess. So, we are going to go save Sage Freak and go back for round two against the Fool's Idol. So, while I went back, I grabbed a single level in Endurance because that's all I could afford. And look, it wasn't worth showing that. Wait, can I unlock these now? The answer should be yes. Aha, success. I'm pretty sure there's at least one hostile one in this room. Hmm. So like I was saying, I do want to move towards... Oh, there we go. Secret Dagger sick. I do want to move towards some heavier weaponry the further we go, so... Having this light armor really helps. The Great Axe would be fun to use. I really like that. Ah, yes, the claws. Sick, sick. So I'm pretty sure they have an identical, um, yeah, an identical move set to the Brass Knuckles, which, you know, I'll eventually get out to show. But yeah, here we go, claws. And then Secret Dagger. So we need 14 decks, and they have 120 bleeding. A fist weapon with protruding sharp claws. It has slashing type attacks. Kind of paraphrase that, but whatever. Its appearance is indeed vicious. It's often used by the king's spies. One. So yeah, instead of the uh, instead of the kick or the shove, it's a headbutt. So let's see, one, two. No, it's just a one. Doesn't really combo. Heavy is a sure you can. Or an uppercut at least. 
You can't two hand. Rolling R1. Rolling R1. Again, just make sure. Rolling R2. Running R1. Cool. So they're pretty neat. I don't think I've ever actually used them, but yeah. Secret dagger. Meanwhile, a half bladed dagger in wide use amongst the king's spy. S plural. More than one. Yep. Heavy damage on soft flesh, but has limited effect on metal armor and hard scales. Yeah, you kind of know that kind of description by this stage. Um, very effective after parrying. And good for backstabs in general. So, we'll look at the moveset real quick. Your standard slashes. Stab. Oh no, it's it's a slice, not a stab. That's a, yeah, that's the stab we know from the souls. Then just goes to vertical slash or hor yeah, vertical slashes. And then we have this. Stab. Main thing. Where is the crit modifier? Let's see. Um Huh. Am I blind? I guess we can't see it. Huh. That's weird. Thought there was a crit modifier in this. Oh well, I guess there's not. Anyway, if you know souls, you know these bad boys do a lot more on backstabs. Secret Dagger's got some extra modifiers, so it will hurt a fuck ton. Especially especially with that lethal infusion I was talking about. Um, you can get some pretty insane backstabs. Now we're gonna play the waiting game. So we have to go this way. Yeah, I can show off this dumb thing in a second. Okay, we'll see if we can get a cheeky backstab. You want a cheeky backstab, mate? We'll try a secret dagger backstab the next one too, just to show off. So one dumb thing. Once I equip secret dagger. Yeah, I'm gonna use the crossbow for full side, or I got some bolts out. It'll help. One dumb thing, sorry, what I meant to do was this. So if you block and mash it very fast, you'll notice you move. Yeah, that that's it. That's uh that's all I got. Wait, what the fuck? He's down there? Huh. If we were fast enough, we could have gone into the cell with all those guys that would want to shank us. So you know what? Maybe we were... Maybe we were correct to uh, hang over here. Now, I can't even remember if they've cast Soul Arrow yet. Yeah, have they? I don't think I've... I feel like I must have shown it, but I don't think they're behaving for us. So you can see 157 without any upgrades and with like what? What's that, what's that modifiers we got? An E and D. And my dex is in the highest, it's only 12. So that's not half bad. Our main reason I'm going to use the crossbow is because unlike the bows, we only have to one hand this. No that's right, we got the black ones on. The black bolts which deal more damage. Yep, a very short black iron bolt, pierces deep, massive damage. There's a sex joke in there somewhere. Too deep to find, huh? Huh. Uh, frosting attack ahead. Yeah. You know what, I wonder. So crossbows can't actually be upgraded, because wood. Don't ask me how bows can then. So let's see. Solero? They can't hit me. Idiot. Didn't drop an item. Fucking sick. So, so the annoying thing is now I can get another level if I want, but couldn't a second ago. Okay, so crossbows are good for that, I guess. Yeah, no, this is the way I want to go. Yeah, it's just annoying you can't free aim them. Oh, shit. I ran so fast I thought that was a guard, even though there should never be one here. Even Black Phantom guards. But yeah. So we're gonna have to deal with Dingus again. While we're here. Yeah, fuck all, it's not worth it. Let's see if we can bait Oh shit. You know you can see why I hate this guy. We're gonna try to hit him but anyway. Don't get greedy. I only need two more hits, but well I get hit a few too many times and I'm fucked. 
Perfect. He gives plenty of soul, so why not? I'll need to upgrade. I'll well. I'll need to upgrade slash repair my weapons eventually, so I think after this episode, I don't think anyone's gonna really mind if I go to plus four. I probably won't go any high for the meantime, but I'll go to plus four. If I do fight Meralda at the end of this, well, yeah, I'm definitely using plus four, because holy shit. I'll probably try the uh, baby sail on her, actually, just to show that off. If I can get a second colorless demon soul. Actually, wait, yeah, I have two, because I should have chucked that footage on to the end of something where I came across a colorless demon because of the world tendency, um, which is pretty cool. It was basically the first time I found one. It, it was pretty much identical to the first time I found one anyway. I, I was in um, Stonefang like the video showed, and I just killed Armor Spider, and I... Kind of went down there for an item, and I turned around and I saw it, and I freaked the fuck out. So, yeah. How timely. How coincidental. That it was effectively the same way I found it in the first place. So we can skip this, because we've fucking seen this. Now, maybe I should have got a plus four before this. But, fuck it. Who cares. I've got the best magic resistance I can have. I've got my heaviest hard-hitting weapon. Ah, uh, that's interesting. I don't know what you just did, but sure. Did you get hit one more time? Sick. So yeah, these guys, I think I explained to a degree. Something like, what, 20 minutes later? Not even. So, those guys... Actually, yeah, no, I didn't explain this. They will pray towards the real one. Holy shit, I didn't even know she was there, so thank you. Um, they will also walk around the arena and trigger the paralyzing traps. Now we are on the second attempt and the one in which I'll kill her. Well, you know, I'll uh, maybe do that. Which way are they praying? So those ones are fake. You know what? Fuck you. One more should do it. Okay. Got it. So where are you? Fake. Real. Yep. I was a pure guess, but I had a good feeling about it. God, stepping on one of those traps right now would be fucking awful. One more? Yes, we can almost get him. So there we go. A perfect. Oh boy. Do I hope the real one isn't right next to me? Oh shit. So I don't believe. Oh fuck this. Come on. Oh, thank you. Holy shit. Okay, let's get it. Oh, that was awful. Oh, I'm fucking relieved. Oh, that could have been really bad. Hell, it was. It just worked out better than it should have. You revived. Alright, let's massacre these guys, because why the fuck not? It's only five souls, but who cares. So, I'll get, hopefully, three levels out of killing her. Fingers crossed. If not, oh well, whatever. So like I said, I don't think I'm going to be doing a lot of magic stuff in this playthrough. Um, I don't think I'm going to do any of the magic upgrades, but you never know. Might be worthwhile, who knows. Let's check one thing. This does not have better magic block. Also, I meant to save this nice and early. So I made that comment thinking that I was under the impression, if they are above, that fire resistance would be similar on shields to magic resistance, even though at the time, I should have known, looking at shit like this shield with 30 magic resistance, but it's fire block is 60. So yeah, um, most shields have way better fire resistance than they do magic. But yeah, um, the purple flame has, I believe it was, yeah, I think it was 90. Uh, resist, yeah, 90 resistance to fire. It was either 80 and the brushwood's 90. I think that's the case. Anyway, the answer is within you. So this is cool. This little cutscene, which takes forever to load because it's loading in the next level too. Okay, that, yeah, that was actually faster than usual. This cutscene was in the trailer for the remake. So that's neat. Speaking of the remake... 
it was nice to hear someone echo my like a similar opinion to mine where I really hope all they do with the soundtrack is just upgrade it they don't really or they update it they don't really change it too much in terms of structure because that music's nice and creepy for the uh, Fool's Idol but yeah these are gargoyles so yeah this is where they got it from Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3 how about that hmm strange and yes, it's another case of enemies carry you up because reasons. So if you fall right now, well, we didn't touch an art zone, so enjoy that shit. There's the body that we get the baby snail off. That's neat. So technically, you could be invaded right now before touching the art zone, and that would suck. We now have a doll's demon's soul. The doll demon's soul. Oh shit, I never saved Frake. <laughs>